Years ago, I was living in this house. It was converted into a senior citizen's um, house where they would come and gather and enjoy one another's company and do projects and they would travel around the city to the parks, museums. But this, this is where they would come. This was their station where they would come. And my mom was the assistant here. So, I thought it was a good idea. This is after I had um, <coughs> got out the service that um, this would be a nice place to stay. I mean, rent free. So I set the whole thing up in my mind and I, I brought this to attention by my mom. I told her, wouldn't it be a good idea if someone was staying there and they can take care of the place and be security? And she said, that sounds good. Let me ask my boss. She went to him and he thought it was a wonderful idea. So did I. Rent free right here. I started off staying on the second floor in the back. And later on I moved up to the attic. This house had an attic, uh, second floor, second floor, first floor, and a basement. And I was there by myself. But something strange was going on in this house. On the second floor, <coughs> as I was sleeping, I felt, stand by, I felt a body come through the walls. So what do you mean? A body. I'm telling you. I felt a body come through the walls and I could not move. I was paralyzed, could not move, talk, nothing. As far as I remember, this is the first time that I ex would experience this, but it wouldn't be the last. And I laid there wondering what is going on. I had a little um, church training, religious training, you might say. <laughs> and in my mind, I remember saying, in the name of Jesus, go. This thing stood over me and stepped back through the wall. You said, do you want us to believe that? I'm just telling you what happened. And I'm wondering, what was that? Later on, I took it upon myself to find out. I did a study or research in different schools on alien entities, um, the spirit world, um, demonology. I wanted to know what's going on. So I took all of these classes, and I did my research, and I would ask questions, and I would go out and ask people about their experiences, and some of them exactly the same, or came close to some of the same incident. I even had another situation on the first floor in this house. On the first floor, here again, I was sleeping on this couch. In the middle of this dining room, there was a large craft table that was made out of wood. It was right next to the sofa. As I was laying there, this huge black, it looked like a rat to me. The face looked this wide from what I could see. Dark, cold, black eyes 
still don't believe it. I was so terrified. I jumped up and tried to run. He said, but you were asleep. When I came to, I could not use my right arm. I took a, I think it was a necktie or shirt or something. It may have been a one or the other. I took and tied it like this, made a knot. To hold my arm like that. Because I couldn't use it. It was it wasn't broken, it was just sore. What happened was, I was so terrified, I was trying to get away from this thing, and I hit my arm on this table. However, <laughs> the church that I was attending was a block away. I went down there like this. And I told one of the ministers what had happened to me, and that I wanted prayer. And he looked at me. I told him straight out. I said, a demon attacked me. He just looked at me. Him and his daughter. But they prayed for me. Then I just went home. Later on, I did more research. I came in contact with other people. Some of the same experiences. This really 